So when, again, the transformative agenda, the president was knowledgeable. I mean, he knows chapter and verse because he wrote this. He campaigned on this. He spoke to this in his State of the Union address. I told him last night and this morning on phone last night, but today in front of our colleagues that uh, when he gave that State of the Union address, we were standing behind, uh, sitting behind him, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, and, and the Speaker of the House, me. And uh, people said, how did it feel? How did it feel, the two women? I said, well, that was exciting and historic. But what was really exciting is the speech the President made about women, not about two women, but about America's women and what would happen with this uh, progressive agenda that he was putting forth. At the same time, we're moving forward with BIF, a once-in-a-century chance to rebuild the infrastructure uh, that, that, that has been passed the Senate a while back. Uh, the BIF has good things and it has missing things, and of course the fact that we have the, re the reconciliation, let me not call it that anymore, let's call it the Build Back Better legislation, is essential because that's where we have the major investment in climate, although there is some uh, in, in the BIF. Roads, bridges, water systems crumbling. Some water systems are over 100 years made of, and our co colleagues talked about their own experiences in their own communities, some made of bricks and, bricks and wood. That's a nice water system, right? Electric grid is vulnerable to cat catastrophic outages, which you have seen, and decades of underinvestment have taken a devastating toll on the safety of our infrastructure. There's absolutely no question the most expensive the most expensive maintenance is no maintenance, and that's where we are in many cases. And it's about jobs, 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 jobs. Over this, the life of this bill, it'll be seven and a half million jobs just in the BIF. If you take it with the other bill, it'll be more like 20 million jobs over the 10-year period, just with these two bills, not talking about what else happens uh, in the community, in the economy. So it is... Um, it's pretty exciting.